Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to fix Windows startup stuck in BIOS inspection screen or PC stuck on BIOS screen during Windows installation process. Most common reason behind this problem is wrong boot configuration in boot priority order list. And number two, this may occur due to existing original system equipment manufacturer, I mean OEM partition and existing system reserve partition. Okay, let me show you why. When we are reinstalling the operating system on the hard disk, then we are just format the system partition and we just ignore or forget to delete the OEM partition and system reserve partition. This can cause stuck in BIOS inspection screen during OS installation process, which is happened in my case. And number 3, this much more rarely caused by corrupted BIOS. If for some reasons your motherboard BIOS has become corrupted, then at the boot time, the PC may stuck at the manufacturer logo screen, then it could be a huge problem for you. However, here's two possible fixes to fix this problem and I'm sure it will definitely help to fix this problem. Ok, at first restart your computer by pressing ALT, CTRL and DELETE key combination on the keyboard and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS by pressing F2 and DELETE key combination on the keyboard. Now press F9 key to reset the BIOS. The BIOS key may be different in your case, so please check the BIOS item specific information for more details. However, now press enter to saving changes. Now go to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Now once again go to BIOS. After that go to boot tab. For key instructions, you can check the BIOS item specific information. Now select your boot disk. Now move your boot disk up out of the list to set as primary boot priority order. Once done, go to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. In order to fix the problem, you need a Windows installation media. If you don't have, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Now insert your Windows installation media and just boot from that. After that select the ISO file and press enter to boot from that. Now click on next, click on install now. I'll be activate later, so I just skip this activation process. Now select your version of your windows and click next. Accept the license terms and click next. Select custom and advanced option. Alright, now follow this step carefully. Here you will need to format and delete the previous operating systems, OEM partition and system reserve partition, even if you have dual boot computer. Otherwise, you won't be able to install the operating system, which is happen in my case. This is a dual boot computer and I have already deleted the OEM partition that's why here this unallocated space. Now I'll reformat and delete the system reserve partition and main system partition to reinstall the operating system. Once done, select this unallocated space, click new and click apply. Read this message carefully and click ok.
All right, now our new system reserve partition and primary partition is ready to reinstall the operating system. Now select your new partition and click next. Okay, now let's see actually it's working or not. Okay, as you can see, our computer is no longer stuck on BIOS inspection screen after rebooting automatically. So I hope this simple guide was helpful for you. If you have any question and any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.